Alright, what's up guys, come back to video today, we're talking about the automaton, we're gonna do an overview about this mythical unit that you can advance to it in the classical age with the Atlanteans, with Leto, okay, and you can get it. It is actually a primitive robot and we're gonna dive into its history and mythology just right now and then we're gonna talk about its special ability and uh, its attack bonuses and everything you can do with it in the game. And then we're gonna state some awesome facts you never knew about the automaton. So what's the mythology behind the automatons? So first of all, the Atlanteans as a whole civilization hated the fact of having slaves, alright? So they had a big, big value for personal freedom. This is why they decided to create the automata, which is actually the automatons. And these, uh, you know, uh, bots, you can say, were meant to do tasks the slaves usually do. Unlike the Egyptians who loved having slaves to build pyramids and to do a lot of tasks, the Atlanteans were the complete opposite. They wanted these robots to do these tasks and to avoid having slaves in the Atlantean community. This is why the automata grew as an idea in the Atlantean community and they wanted actually the automatons to become citizens. This idea launched a civil war in Atlantis, alright? So, so a big civil war grew up in the Atlantean community because a lot of, uh, you know, groups didn't want the automatons to become a citizen in Atlantis because maybe this idea was so controversial in the community. This is why a civil war erupted and the Atlantean empire went through a dark age that lasted thousands of years. During this time, many Atlantean colonies regressed and revolted and became independent nations. So we have a lot of uh, groups right now in the Atlantean community. And sadly, sadly, how it ended, the automata never became citizens in Atlantis. So for the scientific name of the automatons, they don't have one, okay? Their size is over 7 feet tall. And for their diet, they don't eat. Of course, they don't eat because they are robots made of metal or whatever, guys. So, for the special ability, you probably know that the automatons can actually rebuild each other's. Alright, so when an automaton is fighting and he dies, he stays 36 seconds before he dies for good. And if another automaton came uh, and helped him, he can actually rebuild him at a rate of 15 HP per second. And for the strategy of automatons, they are weak compared to most other myth units, but they are very cheap and take up few population slots. This means they are easy to mass produce and are strong in larger groups as they can repair and rebuild each other. They are better armored and harder hitting than human soldiers, and fully upgraded, they become a decent fighting force. And we also know that the Atlanteans have a ready source of favor, so it's possible to use automatons in early rush. And of course, they are vulnerable to heroes, because every myth unit is vulnerable to heroes as a whole in Age of Mythology. For the details and uh, some hidden stuff you maybe didn't notice in the automaton, the automaton's head is apparently hollow. And you can actually see the automaton shaking the breeze out of its head during its board animation. Alright, so I'll have it on the screen right now and we can actually see it in details. And this is pretty amazing. <laughs> I didn't know this before I researched that. So here you have it for a quick overview about the automaton. I don't want to dive deep into its stats. You can go ahead and uh, click on the link in the description where I'm going to be having the forum I've been reading and getting this info from. You can go ahead and see its uh, stats, but we probably know them if you're an OG player. I'm not gonna dive into them because I'm interested in just speaking about the automaton and its history. Because this info might be new for you, alright? But the strategy and how you use the automaton and what the automaton does in game, you probably know that. But you probably don't know the history behind it. So this is why I'm gonna be running a series about these overviews and focusing more about the history and mythology of the unit more than its uh, behavior in game. Alright, but of course I'm gonna talk about uh, the behavior just to remind you or if you're brand new to Age of Mythology, you're welcome to just, uh, you know, listen to this video and get the info you wanna get out of it. Alright, so this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this overview, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, tell me down below what mythical unit you want me to overview next, probably it's gonna be the Caladria. Alright, so starting up with Atlanteans, because these units are not really really known, because I'm gonna go for the Greeks, Cyclops, Minotaur and Centaur. Uh, you've seen them in a lot of movies and a lot of games, but in Atlanteans, the Automaton, I've never seen them in other, any other game or any other movie or series or uh, forum or whatever. Right guys, so starting up with the Atlanteans as of now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.